Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, continuing on the road of recovery, I'm going to do a little job on Dan's bike. Desperately now trying to get my focus back, which has took a bit of a kick in. So that's sort of my next stage, gradually getting into the jobs I should be doing in, and obviously getting all these projects completed. Anyway, so today, Dan's bike, I'm going to do the rear brake. It's just a real simple job. It's nothing special. It's quite boring, to be honest, but it's got to be done. So I've got the rod. I've already run the die down there, both ends, obviously longer that end for the adjustment on the arm, which is going to be on there. All the metal work's been cleaned up because on Dan's bike, he wishes to keep sort of a patina is the word, isn't it? Patina, aged look. He doesn't want anything all shiny and new looking. So on this, we'll be doing our little beeswax trick. So we've got that. We've got this for the front part that goes onto the brake lever. Obviously, I'll have a nut on there first. We've got a brass nut. And then that clevis or whatever you want to call them. So that'll be on the front. <coughs> and we've got this lump of brass here, which I'm going to turn into something that resembles some sort of wing nut. I know you can go and buy them. <laughs> but I'm going to make one. So I'm going to get the grinder on this and do some sort of shape out of it. So we've got this to start with. And it is really roughed out on the lathe because as you know, my lathe is a bit clonky, but it's good enough for what we want here. So we're gonna put a bit of shape into that and that'll be the adjuster right on the back there. So, We'll get the milling machine out. I think we'll change the disc on that actually. The damp's got to it a bit. It's actually quicker doing this than ordering one and waiting for it to come in the post just lately. Because having quite a lot of delays with things coming through the post. So yeah, it's probably a better option actually. So what I'm gonna do, that's already tapped out for this. I'm going to grind some flats on both sides and just, yeah, as we normally do, make it up as we go along. Right, milling machine. Why is that not working? Oh, that's right. I donated my extension lead. What a stupid thing to do. <laughs> what am I gonna do now? Somebody wanted an extension lead, so I'll just give it them. <laughs> now I need it back. <laughs> Hold on. Hey! Tell you what, let's get you all a bit closer. That's close enough. I've been having problems with me uh, microphones. So the one on the camera has got a little screen on it and uh, everything's decided to disappear off the screen. That's the, the harsh environment in here. <laughs> I should really start uh, collecting some spares, spare microphones and stuff, for it all lets me down completely. And I'll tell you what, shall I tuck these in? Someone's bound to spot it. So I'm gonna cut my own head off if that goes in the grinder. There we go. Just 
making sure we're parallel. It will look a, it will look a mess before it starts to look better. Let's go on the block before we set fire to the table. Right. I think we'll cool that off. Then uh, decide what shape we're going to do next. So yeah, that's just, uh, as you can see, it's just roughed out. As you can see that. And we'll do some, I don't know. We'll, we'll just attack it with a grinder and see what happens, eh? I think whatever we do will uh, look better than one the standard one that goes on the end fields. Yes, it looks absolutely terrible at the moment. But we'll get it into some sort of shape. See, I've got an idea now. It's just sprung to mind. <laughs> Dan will probably like it. So I know, and it's just literally just sprung to mind. I know Dan plays guitar, or used to. I think he just probably dabbles a bit now and again with his guitars, but he loves guitars. There's obviously a correct name for them, but I can't play guitar to save my life. The adjusty things up the neck bit. <laughs> Dan's gonna be screaming at me. It's called a so-and-so. But we'll call it the adjusty things up the neck. I can we can uh, make that look like one of them. I think we've just got to bring that side down a tiny bit. Back to the milling machine. I think that's getting close. more or less got that into the shape I want it. I've just shortened this bolt. I'll take this off, we'll turn it round, put it on that way so we can hold it. Well we put a little radius in there now and obviously that will be the bit that locks over that. We get in there with the shape of that. That 
that, uh, hold on, let's grab this. That obviously now fits over that. So we'll get a polish up and then, well, Dan can decide whether he leaves it or keeps it polished. glasses right let's get in there just going to turn it around now and polish uh, the top the top part Then we'll put a softer wheel in and give it a good shine. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's try the light off. Get it on the bike and see how it looks. I know I'm going to put my grubby fingerprints all over it, but uh, polishing it was mainly to get all the remainder of the, the grinding marks out, really. Okay, let's take it off that. I'll say this is obviously only a temporary fit just to prove it's all going to be okay then we've got to put a, a stop on the uh, pedal Yeah, we've got to fabricate a stop on there that we can adjust just to make a bit of control over the height of the pedal then. All right, let's get this bit on. And obviously all this metal work will be all sort of uh, scrubbed up and beeswaxed. There we go, let's have a closer look. a bit different I guess it uh, well I think it resembles one of them guitar adjuster tuner things whatever they are <laughs> I'd say Dan plays the guitar or used to or still does or what I'm sure he'll let me know so yeah it's 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 uh, something a bit different isn't it and just shoving a off the shelf wing nut on there So we'll scrub this and beeswax it. All this will be beeswax. I think the brake pedal will be powder coated and so on. We'll 
make them decisions when we get to that stage. I say we just got to put a bit of a stop for the brake pedal so it uh, we've got something to adjust the height with so it doesn't come right up like so. So there we go, that's another simple job done. Uh, it's only a little thing, but uh, it, it's another thing ticked off the list. Uh, I think the next job will be the front end and get the front brakes sorted out and probably start tidying up them forks. And we are getting extremely close to stripping this bike down. And then obviously I'll go through all the all the wells on the frame and stuff and finish welding stuff up that I've not been able to get into properly with the bike built. And slowly build up a powder coating pile and paint pile and whatever else pile it's got to go on. And yeah, getting close to the end really, which is good because then I'll be able to get on I'll say three M fields, obviously the two customer M fields and the next M field that I've got, which we've seen the other day, which I've started up, which will start better when I finish with it because it'll have all electronic ignition on and stuff like that. And it'll literally breathe on that kickstart and it'll fire straight up. So that will be perfect, obviously, when that's done. But yeah. Getting closer, getting back on track. It's just getting my focus sorted out now so I can keep getting stuck in each day like I was before this dready thing struck me down. But definitely heading in the right direction it is, which is good, it's a good feeling. I can actually get up in the morning and actually feel like I, I want to do something instead of like I just want to curl up on the sofa or something like that, which is soul destroying. But anyway, we're getting there. We are, we're definitely getting there. So yeah, I think that'll do, definitely. Oh, I'll do it, I don't do this very often, a quick shameless plug on all the Doghouse merchandise, which is in the description and all under the videos and all that. Why not, I've got it on, <laughs> that'll do. Anyway, I'm finished. That'll do me today, guys. Cheers for watching.